Okay, part B, factorize, right? So 12x squared minus 27y squared. Now, when you look at this here, two terms, you need to see if there's any common factors. The x's and y's, well, they differ, aren't they? So there's no common factors there. But the numbers, 12 and 27, there is a common factor there, isn't it? Think about what goes into 12 and 27. Well, 3, doesn't it? 3 goes into 12 four times. Okay, so it be 4x squared. And 3 goes into 27 nine times. So that'll be 9y squared. Okay, so you've probably picked yourself up one mark, right? Out of the three. But you need to look now in here to see if we can go any further. And you might be wondering, well, I've already taken out all I can. But then don't forget in here, remember, when you've got a minus two terms, you've got to remember that difference of two squares, okay? Because a minus means difference. And you've got to ask yourself, are these squares? And of course, these are squares, aren't they? They're both squares. So when you have that, you now have two brackets, all right? And the first term in each bracket, okay, you write down what you square to give that. So what do we square in to get 4x squared? Well, you square 2, don't you, to get 4? So it will be 2x, 4x squared. What do you square to get 9y squared? 3y, of course, isn't it? Okay, and then, of course, you've got 2x here and 3y there. 1's a plus, 1's a minus. That's how it works, the difference of two squares, okay?